Hey guys, Enar here. I'm here with a video on the Blood Mall Slag Mines, one of the instances in Warlords of Draenor, and I'm here to show you basically the bosses and everything. The trash isn't too normal, uh, it isn't too like special, so we're gonna skip that. All right, I'll see you at the first boss. All right, guys, the first boss is Magmalatus. First, you have to kill the Forge Master Gugda, and he uh, brings out two elementals, an Earth and Fire elemental. While the elementals are alive, while he's alive, and you have to kill the elementals, you have to interrupt the Calamity's firestorm to prevent heavy damage. And while Mag is active, you have to kill the elementals. So you know, don't overwhelm you and fuck you and your healer. That would not be such great. And that may not be such good things. Fuck whatever. Anyway, healers will have to dispel. Just dancing flames and withering flames so they don't spread, and tanks have to get away from rough smash and slag smash. Obviously, melee have to get away from these as well so they don't fuck you and you know kill you. So obviously, that wouldn't be so great because they do high damage and they stun players. So, that's basically all there is to this fight. It's not really that hard, but you know, it can be hard if you're not coordinated. Alright, guys, I'll see you on the next fight. All right, we're at the good old slave watcher Crush Toe. All right, what he does, he has Earth Crush, which inflicts 75% of normal melee damage to all targets in front of the caster. This is like a stalag slag type thing that he kicks and it breaks and all that. Ferocious Yell, which increases the damage dealt for 10 seconds for by 10% for 20 seconds, and it weakens will of nearby miners, which means they won't help us; they'll help him. Uh, this can be interrupted and should be interrupted by all of the DPS and the tank when possible. He also has Wild Slam, which crushes the ground, doing a shit ton of damage to all enemies and knocking them back. Well, not a shit ton, it does a decent amount of damage and knocks them back. And he has Crushing Leap, he leaps to enemies and smashes them. And Captured Miners will focus the smash target. And he has Raise the Miners, which he calls Miners to assist in battle. And the miners, they have traumatic strikes, which deals 100% weapon damage and 5% additional damage. So basically, the damage dealers, they need to interrupt and kill the hostile enslaved miners, and the healers need to heal, basically, obviously heal, and they need to heal the friendly miners, and the tanks will interrupt, and that's about it. Alright, I will see you guys at the third boss. to me alive, Rotal. They will fetch an excellent price. And here we are at Rotal, one of my favorite bosses from this expansion so far. I just really like his mechanics, they're really cool. Speaking of which, we have Fiery Boulder, which he summons a fiery boulder that rolls down the bridge and stuns anyone it hits and does as I said, decent damage. We have Heat Wave, and Rotal summons a deadly Heat Wave that inflicts damage and it pushes enemies away, which means it can push you into the lava, which isn't very good. That's not good at all. Burning Slag, Rotal throws Burning Slag that ignites on enemies, it deals damage, and it does not go away, it stays on the bridge. So it's uh, kind of a pseudo enrage mechanic, so kill him quick or you die. And then there's Scorching Aura, and it reduces the cast speed of all nearby players, but that's only on Heroic. And that's about it for Rotal. Like, he's not a very tough boss, but his mechanics are really cool. Alright, last boss, Guckrog. Guckrog is, like, kind of the leader of everything going on in the Blood Moss Slag Mines. He's a decent boss. I like him under Rotal, but I do still like him. He's got, alright, first he's got Molten Blast, which he basically just does some damage and gives him a stack of Molten Core. This is interruptible. Molten Core, though, is his damage is increased by 10% for a minute, and it will cause a Molten Barrage if he gets to three stacks. Molten Barrage is he explodes with Molten Energy, inflicting a lot of damage to all the players. That's basically that one. 
in a magma eruption, he summons pools of magma at every player's location for two minutes, which is a, like, just, god, I, like, you have to kite him and just, a lot of stuff on the ground, uh, I guess you could call this a pseudo ra enrage mechanic because they don't go away either, so, and then he has summon unstable slag, which he summons an unstable slag elemental, what they do is, they siphon flames from a kiln, which is like a furnace thing, Unleashing a torrent of fire every two seconds, and it does a decent amount to two players. And once they reach the kiln, they become empowered, dealing 9,000 every three seconds, which is a lot. And Flame Buffet, he ignites all players in doing a lot of damage, increasing their fire burn damage taken for 20 seconds. That is him, and that's the Blood Moss Slag Mines. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you have a great day. Do all the like, subscribe shit if you want. If not, well, that sucks. Alright, later guys.